Hi, Jenny here. Today we are going to make a bean and corn veggie quesadilla. Let's get started. All right, for this recipe, first we're gonna start with a skillet pan on the stove. We're gonna add a little bit of oil in our pan. And we're going to cook our onions in there for a little bit. Spread that all around. Turn it on, about a medium heat. I already have an onion all chopped up. So I buy a big bag of onions at the store and then I'll chop them all up and put them in the baggie so they're all good to go for when I'm ready to cook a recipe. It saves a little bit of time. While the onion is cooking in there, I've opened two cans of black beans already. We're going to rinse those along with some corn. Okay, so I have two cans of black beans in my colander already now. I'm going to add one cup of frozen corn kernels. And we're going to rinse that all together under cool water. So we're going to just rinse those until the water kind of runs clear. It's going to be dark down there. It's going to stuff up the beans. The recipe also calls for half a cup of roasted red peppers. So you can buy these in the store. It comes in a jar like this. Um, in usually a specialty section of the store where they sell, yeah, whatever food. We're just going to chop that up and add it to our pan. Right, you can see when the onions get a little bit translucent like that, that means they're pretty much cooked through. So at this point we're going to add our beans and corn in. And the red peppers that we chopped up. And then we're also going to do two teaspoons of minced garlic. This you can usually find in um, the grocery, the produce section of the store. and half a teaspoon of cumin, which I forgot my half teaspoon. So there you go. You're going to heat this all through for about two minutes till it's about heated through. And then we're going to put them on our tortillas and cook them in the oven. Okay, we're going to spray our pan with a cooking spray. I have a misto sprayer that I have olive oil in. And so we just give that a couple pumps and spray it. And you can use any cooking sprayer or anything in the store. And then we're going to take our tortillas and put them on there. And take some of the bean mixture and put that about on half the tortilla. So however much you think you're gonna like that's not gonna explode too much through, we're gonna fold these in half. And then cook them in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, and then we're going to put some cheese on top of there. Any type of cheese that you have that you like to eat is just fine. 
So we'll sprinkle that on top. And then we're just going to fold these over and put them in the center of the pan. Our oven is preheating at 450 degrees and when it's ready we'll put them in there for five minutes. All right, our timer beeped for our five minutes. So here are our beautiful quesadillas. You can see how nicely brown they are on top. The recipe calls for making about eight of the quesadillas. So what I usually do is I take all the extra ingredients and I put it in a container and that way for later in the week when I'm ready to make dinner, I have the ingredients good to go. So we can just make as many quesadillas as we need to eat in one day. So I can plate them. All right, and then you can put any type of toppings on top of your quesadillas that you would like. So on one of these, I'm going to put some salsa. And one plate's worth, put it that way. And a little bit of sour cream. This one is just going to be some sour cream. Add as much as little you like. You can also add any extra cheese or any other type of toppings that you might like on there. All right, I hope that you like this video. I will leave the recipe for it in the description below. Leave any comments down below of anything else you'd like to see me make or do. If you want to see my latest video, you can click up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click over here. I'm going to go enjoy my dinner now. You guys keep it positive and make it a great day. Bye-bye. Mm.